everybody. Good afternoon. I am Felicia Shankin, your host for today of Power Up Your Passion. I hope you grabbed your girlfriends, something good to drink, and get ready for a great, great interview today. So I'm in the studio by myself, but I am not by myself. We have a guest today via of Zoom. Her name is Shari Williams. And before I let Shari start talking to you, I want to tell you a little bit about her. Okay, welcome, Shari. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So Shari Williams Enterprise is an innovative and creative consulting, fundraising, and event planning company that is designed to celebrate, promote, and invest in the success of people, business, organizations, and the community. We know that you are unique and so are your business needs. So Shari William Enterprise is here to satisfy her clients and students. Her clients needs is their top priority. Her talented team of consultants will work closely with you to deliver customized results, driven solutions and services to you and your clients. Again, Shari, welcome. Thank you for having me, Felicia. You're this welcome. This is exciting. Good, good. And I'm so glad to have you on. I know because of the COVID, you were supposed to come into the studio, but things happen. And I'm glad that we're able to get you on today. So before we get into everything that Shari Williams is with her consulting, with her drones, and everything like that, I want to know who is Shari Williams the person? Well, let me say, I am a fun-loving mother of two grown daughters aged 32 and 35. Okay. I have a six-year-old grandson, and this August, I'll be married 26 years. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> okay. So um, I have a full life. I, um, like I said, a mother and a wife, and I have a lot of passions that I have turned into um, business opportunities for myself and for others. And so I'm just very excited to be here today. I love to travel. I love style and fashion. I'm in my infamous closet. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love to uh, work with people and connect with people. Awesome, awesome. Now, Sherry, did you grow up in Philadelphia? I did not. I grew up in um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which is the capital of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And I grew up there. My family is from the South. And we spent a lot of time in New York City, Ohio, and Statesville, South Carolina. Oh, okay. So how, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have uh, three sisters. And, you know, my dad, he is deceased now. Okay. Uh, he may have some other children out there. Who knows? <laughs> we asked him about it, and he's like, well, you know, I don't know. But, um, yes, I had three lovely sisters. I am the middle of the four of us, and I'm very close to my sisters, and um, I'm j I just love them. I'm glad to have sisters. Wonderful. So what brought you to Philadelphia? Well, I came to Philadelphia following after my sister, who used to be a hairstylist. She came to Philadelphia for a job opportunity, and I was living in Harrisburg, and I wanted a new start. I just wanted something different. I never really felt like I belonged in Harrisburg, although it's my hometown. I just kind of always felt like it was something more out there for me. I never really felt grounded there so she moved to philadelphia and then maybe a year afterwards i said hey you know i may come to philadelphia to go to school so i came to philadelphia and started at pierce junior college it was called at that time okay. so i came for uh, college okay okay so now fast forwarding a little bit how do we get into shari williams Consulting LLC. And what's all under there? Because I know there's a lot of things that you do. Well, it all started about eight years ago. I've been in business about eight years because I was helping a lot of my girlfriends that were already in business and they were coming to me um, as a resource. Sherry, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And I'm a doer and a helper and I had no problem with that. Mm -hmm. So I just decided um, one uh, time we were going on vacation, I saved up in my um, 
what do you know, those water jugs that mm-hmm. you get. Uh, I filled up the water jug and I had like $12,000 in this water jug with wow. uh, pennies and coins and everything. So I took it to the local uh, bank and they came out and said, gave me my little slip. And he said, well, you have like $1,200. And I said, what? Oh, wow, should wow. I just take this money on vacation or should I just start something that I'm really passionate about? So I've always been a professional model. I started that at age 15 and people always ask me to model in their fashion shows and wear their clothing and things like that. So I said, well, I'm going to use this money to really go and get myself an agent and start in the modeling industry. So I started that way. Wow. And look at where you are now. So before we started getting into the meat and potatoes of your business, okay, uh, what did you start with first before you started doing the other things that are going on? Well, like I said, I started with the modeling. I got an agent. Mm -hmm. I wanted to learn the business. So I decided to uh, work with the agent um, in Philadelphia. They're now in Valley Forge. Mm -hmm. And I learned everything I needed to learn. So I started with pictures. You know, you always need wonderful photos. I had a makeup artist that is still with me today. I got the best photographer in Philadelphia. And I must say, I'm still using some of the same photos that he took of me 20 years ago that's awesome and um that's how i started so i started working with designers wearing their clothing showcasing their items and people would come up to me and say where'd you get that and i would say well you know this designer made it or whatever and they would say i want to purchase that so i just started selling things right off my body wow (laughs) you know that's awesome that's that's you know i can relate to the fashion part i don't know if i told you and i don't think a lot of people know this about me but i grew up in new york uh, Queens, New York, shout out, yay. <laughs> yay, your grandmother's from Queens. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, small world. So I went to FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology, in Manhattan. So I graduated with a degree there, fashion buying and merchandising. So when you were talking about the fashion and everything, trust me, I'm all over it. I'm a, I'm a lover of fashion as well. So, and I know in that closet of yours, there's a lot of goodies that are going on and different things like that. So you went through the modeling and now, so after the modeling, then you decided to start up Sherry Williams Consulting LLC. Or was that a Sherry part of it? Enterprises. Enterprises, so what I'm did sorry. Is I started working with um, a small uh, company, um, a husband and wife team. Mm-hmm. Uh, a friend of mine, she sold a lot of uh, outerwear and mm-hmm. he sold jewelry. So they came together and they formed a business. And because I'm a PR professional, they said, well, we want you to do the PR for us and model for us as well. So that was my very first client. They're still my clients today. Okay. And so I started with one client uh-huh. um, modeling their clothing, their outerwear. They sell coats, handbags, jewelry, uh, fur, trench, leather, whatever you want. They had it. And so that was really, really exciting for me because I said, this doesn't feel like work at all. It feels <laughs> like I'm just playing dress up every day. Right. And so they started out with a uh, brick and mortar store Mm -hmm. and that went very well and then they branched out to doing these home shows so they travel the world uh, curating different items that they want to sell and I was the one that helped select the items to say yes I think these are the things that will sell these are the things that I think we can promote and I would build campaigns around the items that they are selling so we started home shows Mm -hmm. which are still going strong today they go into your home they set up shop they bring everything in and it's just like you invite, you invite your girlfriends over, you have a few cocktails and some hors d'oeuvres, and the ladies love the attention. They love to shop and they love that personalized attention. And I love working with them because it gave me that opportunity to really get to know some of the clients and talk to them and find out what exactly are you looking for. I'm a tall girl, so it's mm-hmm. hard for me to go in the stores and really find the things that I wanted. Mm-hmm. So this was really important for me to make sure some of these ladies can find the outerwear pieces that they were really looking for. Oh, okay. All right. Well, like I said, you wear a lot of different hats. You do a lot of different things. Uh, you and I, I feel that we've been knowing each other for a long time. And we met this year, correct? 
That's right. Yeah. That's right. It feels like a long time, but yes. I just, you know, when I saw you, I said, you know what? Something just clicked and we just kind of been, you know, rolling from there. And I think that's what builds a great relationship when you can automatically connect with someone. Yeah. You know what they say, like attracts like, right? Yes. So you're yes. a businesswoman. I'm a businesswoman, and you know our our minds gelled that way. That's that's how that happened. So okay, so we left from there. So moving forward a little bit, what are you doing now? What's going on now with you? Well, we never left from there. Oh, We're okay. Always modeling. Okay. Always. Okay. I still have my same agent. I still have a profile. When they send me on jobs, I still do the jobs. And, and you know, modeling is different. I do a lot of lifestyle modeling. Mm -hmm. And I want ladies to know that you don't have to strive to be this big supermodel. Right. Um, the grace, the, you know, stages you can be a lifestyle model or urban lifestyle model because they're looking for that particular uh look okay. whatever that look is they're mm -hmm. not looking for someone that may be tall they might be looking for someone that's short they, it doesn't matter lifestyle modeling is what i um do so i still always do that mm -hmm. and then i transitioned into uh, like I said, helping people with their um, PR, because that is something that I've been trained to do in my career. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that for the last 20 years, and I would build campaigns. And so the campaigns that we would build would be centered around conferences that help people. Um, so I, that's a whole nother industry okay. <laughs> that I'm currently still in, okay. but uh, people know me from that industry as well. So then I'm always a lover of STEM and I promote STEM education. And so I try to let the ladies know that you don't have to just wear one hat. You can do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. You just have to be passionate about what you are doing and stay on your own trajectory. Don't let anyone kind of take you down their road. Make sure you stay with what you're doing. So fast forward, uh, I always had a lot of ladies always around mm -hmm. and always calling on me. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, Felicia, that I got really upset about uh, here in Philadelphia is the fact that I would go to all these different award ceremonies and the same ladies would be getting the same awards right. year after year after year after year and i really just didn't understand that it really just used to bother me and i used to say to my husband well what about all these other wonderful women these women are really you know they're go-getters they have businesses they're doing everything they do can do to uh, keep their families together so i got upset and I said, I don't think this is fair. Why don't they pick some other women that they can give these awards to? Mm -hmm. And my husband said, well, you know, honey, I don't know if that's going to change. So you're going to have to change it. So about three and a half years ago, I decided to partner with another friend mm -hmm. and uh, we started Woman Up. And oh, Woman okay. Up turned into an opportunity for us to showcase these ladies, make sure that they received an award, and that they walked the red carpet. Okay, so, so on that sure note, not to, I'm sorry, not to interrupt you, but on that note, before we start talking about the Women's Up initiative, we have to go to commercial. So when we come sure. back, we'll talk all about it. Thank you. Thank you. Big house. How do I look? Do, do I look good? I want to play hard. My nails done. Once a month. I want. I want. 
want. I want a home. I just want a home. I want someone to love. Last year, more than 30,000 companion animals came to us without homes. 20,000 of them were felines. Let's make some homes together. Hello everyone, I'm Mark Iorio. I'm the host of Rainmakers Roundup, right here on RVN TV. The show is about looking for people who are in competitive businesses that are doing something different and unique in the world of sales and marketing. Join me right here on Rainmakers Roundup on Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. and then again on Thursday evenings at 6.30 p.m. right here on RVN TV. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Felicia Shank and I am your host for Power Up Your Passion. Today we are having a great conversation with Shari Williams. And Shari, before we went to commercial, I'm sorry, we were talking about Women's Up Initiative. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So Women Up Initiatives is the opportunity for us to celebrate, promote, and invest in women in business and in the community. So what we do is we hold a big T every year. I call it a T with a twist. Mm -hmm. It's called the Women Up Initiatives Tea and Hat Awards Party. And it was my way of making sure that we can uh, give these women an award so that they can really feel the love and support that we have for them, especially if they have a business or a product. So we would bring in vendors, mm -hmm. we would curate everything locally, and we would use the resources and give the ladies an award. And I tell you, it has been so rewarding. We've already awarded over 40 women. Wow. And they said, this was the first time ever, someone ever thought about me to give me an award. That is so true because, you know, there's yeah. a lot of times. One thing you said I definitely agree with. There are some organizations that do give awards to the same people over and over again. And then there's a lot of people out there that are doing some awesome things that you don't get a chance to hear about or to even celebrate. So I like the fact that you bring these women within your circle. And usually how many women attend this event? We sold out the very first event and it's been selling out every year. Over 250 women attend this event. Wow. And, I mean, and then they call me personally after I tell them it's sold out. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. And where do you hold the, the event at? So the first two years, we held it at Belmont Mansion. Beautiful. And also, there's a fundraising component to that. We raised money for the American Women's Heritage Society. Okay. And then last year, we held it at Bartram Garden. Mm. And then this year, it was supposed to be held at Bartram Garden. But of course, COVID hit, and we weren't able to hold the event. So we are planning to hold the event next May at Bartram Garden. Wonderful. I can't wait. You know I'm going to get my ticket, so I can definitely be there, because I love the these type of things. So good, yes. good for you, and congratulations on everything that you're doing there. That's awesome. So I love it, Felicia. Just I making know. sure that the ladies know that they are loved is one of the things that I am most passionate about. Okay, wonderful. So now we talked a little bit about your organization and the things that are offered. So I know there's another thing that you love. Drones. Tell us a little bit about your drones and what's going on with that. Oh, I love <laughs> drones. My girlfriend came to me about four years ago and she said, I want to show you something. So she showed me this drone. Let me grab this drone. Wow. Look that looks like a military type thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Mavic Pro and I use this drone for professional work. I am a licensed drone pilot. Okay. I got licensed about four years ago and I do various jobs in and around uh, Philadelphia and in the region. And this drone can do almost anything in a commercial business. Mm -hmm. So. I teach virtual classes and I teach people how to prepare for the part 107 knowledge exam so that they can become a drone pilot as well. Drone pilots are essential workers. Wow. And drones are being used everywhere. I know uh, realtors are using them. I see a lot of times with the news using them. Just about everybody is using them, I would think, right? Yes, you can use drones in photography, events, agriculture, search and rescue. I just did a big rally called Say Her Name, mm -hmm. and that video is going to be coming out soon. Uh, so 
uh, funerals. They're using drones to capture funerals oh. during this time of COVID. Yeah. Um, drones are used in, like you said, real estate inspections, the oil and gas industry, um, insurance companies. Drones can literally be used in almost any commercial business. And they are currently looking for drone operators. And I want more women to enter this market. And I can help them get licensed if they take my course. <laughs> well, I know my husband got in contact with you, and he's still talking about getting a drone. So don't be surprised if he reaches out to you again, because I'm looking at him like, what are you going to do with it, and where are you going to put it? And trust me, he will find somewhere, because he loves these type of things. He's very gadgety, and, you know, something for him to play with, another gadget. So, you know, good for you. Good for you. So well, my he'll have a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with the drone. I love to take my drone to the beach and capture beautiful photos at the beach and i'm like i said now i'm doing some various rallies all around philadelphia and it's wonderful to just capture all of these very historical moments that we're going through right now yes i can imagine i can imagine so my next question to you is going to be sherry what would you feel is your superpower okay you blanked out one second ask me again what would you say is your superpower? My superpower? Mm -hmm. I think I have a lot of superpowers. I think one of the, the powers that I have is to really connect with people. Okay. I, I look at my Rolodex and I said, I got 5,000, almost 10,000 people and I know these people. And I think that is one superpower, but not only connecting, Working beyond your business card. I always tell you, network beyond your business card. Yes, you have a business card. Yes, you have that person's information. But did you connect with the person? Right. And that is one of the things that I think is a superpower for me because people come back and they tell me, you helped me in some type of way. And if I can help you in any type of way, that's a superpower. You know what? And I think that's awesome. And that's good that you know that. I always change mine. It stays consistent, but from time to time, I always change it. But that's good that you know exactly. And yes, you are a connector. And a lot of people do you, know you because of you, you uh, your personality, and you draw people in when they meet you. So my next question, and this could go either way. Um, what would Shari, the younger Shari Williams, what would the Shari Williams now say to the younger Shari Williams? Well, I would say to myself to be patient because sometimes we want it all and we want it right now. And then we look at other people when we may say, well, this person is really doing well and they're doing it, how are they doing it? Uh -huh. But I would say be patient because sometimes it's just not your turn or your time. Right. Um, just like I talked about, you know, creating that niche for the women, you have to be patient and create those niches for yourself. And when I'm patient, things come to me. When I try to rush those things, it never works out. So right. you just have to kind of fall back a little bit and be patient. And that's what I would tell my younger self. Yeah, you know, you're so right. I had that conversation with another guest here on the show. You know, people look at you and, you know, the successful people they look at and they're like, wow, I want that, I want that. But people don't realize the road yeah. that you might have walked to get to where you are, the distractions, mm -hmm. the, the hurdles, the sleepless nights, the reasons you're saying to yourself, why am I doing this? People don't see that. They, you know, you might have been doing this for 10, 12 years and now it's your season, it's your time. And and something just pops and it takes your business to a different level and people are like you know well well you know you're doing great this really came for you but they have no idea you know i always right. you know they have no idea they don't, have a clue. they don't have a clue so don't be envious of other people just make sure that you're going to you know put your goals on paper and then you execute them don't worry about what someone else is doing worry about what you're doing. And uh, you know what, I always say that. I always say as long as you stay focused and you look straight, you don't turn to the left, you don't turn to the right, you don't look at what anybody else is doing, the only competition is yourself to try to figure out how you can make yourself better each and every day. You know, that's what I always say. So what is a good business tip that you would leave us with? 
I would say planning. I am big on um, time management and planning. And don't take on too much. If you cannot do it, just say no and plan it for another time. Because when you take on too much, then you're taking on stress, right? And then you're not going to be your authentic self and you're not going to give your 100%. So just try to stick with the two or three things that you're working on for that day, that week, that month, that year. Don't worry about what other people are doing and take your time and really stick to your time management. If it's not on my schedule, Felicia, it's not real. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. You know, and boundaries. Boundaries are so important. More and more, I'm starting to stay and stick to my boundaries because, you know, the saying is sometimes you have to teach people how to treat you. Oh, yes. 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 That is absolutely true. Um, I have had many situations where I have not been treated well, but I just smile and and I treat people the way I want to be treated, and that does come back. It does come back to you. If you're kind to the next person, they will be kind to you. That's so you right. have to treat people with respect that and so they true. will treat you with respect. That is so true. So Sherry, we are going to be wrapping up. So before we wrap up, I want you to tell everyone how they can get in contact with the wonderful Sherry Williams, uh, all your information and also your drone information. Okay, well, I am the goddess of drones. <laughs> yes, I am the goddess of drones. And you can reach me at um, sherrywilliamsenterprises.com or goddessofdrones.com. And you can find me on Facebook at Woman Up Initiatives Business and Community Networking Group. Or you can find me on Instagram at goddess of drones. Or you can call me at 267-225-7408. I will answer the call and we can, you know, see how we can collaborate together and do some business. Well, that's awesome. Well, Shari, I appreciate you being a guest today. Again, we'll have to have you back into the studio so we can hear all about what's going on. Um, Hopefully by then, uh, you know, we'll be a little more comfortable with this COVID and everything that's going on. But I appreciate you continue to rise. um, And I wish you luck with uh, the Women's Initiative. I wish you luck in your drones and just keep doing you. Well, thank you so much, Felicia. You're absolutely amazing, and I just love working with you, and I really appreciate the opportunity to come on here and share all of my passions. (laughs) Oh, well, thank you, and I feel the same way. So, everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name, again, is Felicia Shankin. This is Power Up Your Passion. Join us uh, on Tuesdays at noon. Have a great day. Stay cool. Be safe. Bye-bye. Bye.